Bill Butler, uh, Pat, and my dad, Wiley, were brothers. Uh, in case you can't tell, some of us inherited his stature. <laughs> and good luck. No, you're taller. I think I may be. I think that became a matter of competition somewhere along the way. Uh, I didn't get to play golf with Pat very often. I think I only played with him a couple times. And, uh, and, and I'm not a avid golfer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to try to go hack some out there with Red here later. Uh, but I did go golfing with him at least one time that I remember uh, that we went through the entire 18 holes, and I don't think I hit a ball straight all day long until we got to the 18th hole. And I had uh, their older brother, Mike's, uh, clubs that I actually use to, to play with whenever I do play. And uh, I had a two iron, which apparently nobody uses anymore, but we were about 200 yards out from the green and I hit a perfect two iron shot, 200 yards, 10 feet from the hole. And it's, it's just enough to keep you going and make you want to play another day, no matter how bad you did, you know, all day long. So, but growing up, Pat coming over during Christmas time and Fourth of July, bringing Red over and everybody, uh, you know, you knew Pat was, was the one that he, he liked to have a good time. So whenever I got a little bit older, I, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to just go hang out with Uncle Pat a few times as a, as a young adult and grown up and, and solve all the world's problems with him. And uh, some of y'all, uh, I'm sure, know what we're talking about. So just uh, going to miss you, Uncle Pat, and thanks for all the good times. <laughs>